All right, y'all know all things all sports and entertainment. And the circus has now began with the Los Angeles Lakers. So people have been waiting. I've been waiting myself. But, uh, you know, if you got people like Two Raw and Dreamers Pro and uh, Brandon Love Sports, you know, they've been very critical of LeBron and Bronny and JJ Reddick. And they should be, you know, in my opinion. But Bronny had his first preseason game debut a couple of days ago and he scored two points and had, I believe, one or two blocks. But according to basketball coach pat uh, pat riley i mean jj reddick had this to say quote as a coaching staff before the game as we are kind of going over our rotation matrix we're talking about Bronny. he's had some really good days in august and september he's had really good days this week we're really happy with his progress the kid can do some things defensively at his size that are really unique and can i think turn into a really disruptive defender and that manifests itself on the offensive end he's still kind of figuring out who he is and that's our job as player development program just to build just to build him up but like i said when i saw Bronny, truthfully he's so easy to coach and he's got a great soul and just a great energy about him i like being around him and rooting for him he's a good player and that we are happy to have him in our program so let me, look man before I, before i get started i like Bronny, man i like lebron I have no problem with nepotism, you know. Uh, I got a son, not too much younger than Bronny, so I I I totally get it. But let, let's just call a spade a spade. Man. Bronny's not ready for the NBA. He had he he scored what a handful of points in the summer league. It is you know, but come on now, we we in the big leagues now, and y'all want us to be patient? No, this the the, the young man's making millions of dollars now a year, so we're gonna hold him to the same standard. So. No, nah, man, I'm sorry. It was trash. He got a trash performance the first game. You know, he shouldn't even be in the NBA right now. Bronny should not be in the NBA. Bronny should be in his second year at USC getting his feet wet. Bronny might honestly be the only player that I know that completely struggled in college, got to the NBA struggling, and that you still got the media still making excuses for this, for this young man. I get it. He had a heart scare. I came on here and said, Bronny, it's things bigger than basketball. Whatever you want to do, I'm riding with you. But when he got cleared to play at USC, he just looked like a fish out of water. And he's still looking like that. <laughs> How did Tura say it? He looked like a deer in front of a Mack truck. Bronny looks confused out there. I don't know if it's the, if it's the game, but, I mean, he already out there at 6'1", he, so he's undersized. And then, I mean, what do you... What are you going to do with it when you put Bronny up against other guards? He plays off the ball, which is fine, but you got to be an elite, elite player to do something like that. You know, he should have a ball in his hands, but that's just not his style. I don't know. You know, it's just, it, it's, I really feel bad uh, for people like Michi from the Midwest. Shout out to him. I feel bad for people like that, Brandon Love Sports, the people who are real Lakers fans because they've honestly made the Lakers a sideshow. A complete circus act. Darvin Ham. Darvin Ham took the team to the finals the first year, took them back to the playoffs, and he gets fired. <laughs> like, what? And then you, you do a podcast with LeBron and JJ Reddick. Everybody knew that it was basically interviewing for, for uh, JJ to become the Lakers head coach. Then JJ becomes the coach, and they try to act like the podcast had nothing to do with it. Then they draft Bronny and say they're going to make they're going to develop him into a player, into a player. He gets a guaranteed contract, which is kind of unheard of for majority of second round picks. And ESPN, if you go back and watch the draft, ESPN was already talking about Bronny getting drafted a couple of picks before he was selected. So everybody knew the Lakers were going to pick him. Then they said Bronny earned the right to be on the Lakers. It's not like it ain't like Bronny was an All-American his freshman year then you know i don't know maybe he broke his foot he had that power because i mean you could make the argument remember eli eli manning when he was drafted number one overall by the san diego chargers he said i'm not doing it and he wanted to play in a big market and then they did a swap they swapped out eli manning for philip rivers two future hall of famers more than likely they swapped each other out and philip rivers went to san diego at the time and eli went to the new york giants but at least with that, at least Eli was already in the Heisman contention. At least he was already going to be the number one overall pick, even though he came from a family pedigree. At least he had that. Bronny was completely struggling at USC, you know. And I and I listen. I'm a LeBron fan. And a lot of y'all, y'all think I don't like LeBron. I've watched LeBron's whole career, 
and I've watched the majority of Bronny's career since he's been in what about eighth grade rooting for him I want to see it but the kid's not ready same thing with Bryce I be seeing y'all say oh Bryce got so much upside and Bryce did Bryce to me looks like I don't know if his body isn't hasn't caught up yet with his height but even Bryce looks like he's just a you know He'll, he'll, he'll be a Division One player, but that's it. And that's okay. Everybody isn't meant to be an NBA player. And I just, I don't like the fact that, you know, if Bronny go out there and score two points and a block, people say, oh, man, look at him, man. No, we got to hold him to the same standard. I don't want to hear this. He a kid talk. He make millions of dollars. He's going to play basketball. It's over now. It ain't no more excuses, man. I'm sorry. And this is coming from a LeBron fan. I'm sorry. I don't want to hear it. Now, Bronny go out there and start scoring. 10, 15 points coming off the bench, it is what it is. But we have a right now to completely critique this young man. So, you know, hey, you score two points in a couple of blocks, whatever, man. Hey, but don't sit here and tell me that he's earned the right to be a Laker. <laughs> Think about him. Magic, Kareem, Kobe, Shaq, Bronny. Bronny as a Laker, and he earned the right to be there. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it, man. Hey, you know, let, let let the games begin with the Lakers. And another thing, one more thing before I get off. I want to, I really hope that they're going to keep J.J. Reddick to the same standards that they kept Darvin Ham. I don't want to hear, y'all need to be patient with J.J. Reddick. You need, no, he's supposed to be this genius basketball savant who became a Lakers head coach without even coaching. But yeah, Sam Cassell can't get a job. But J.J. Reddick goes from retirement to coach to doing the NBA Finals to being his high basketball IQ man to getting to having his podcast with LeBron to being on the Lakers as a head coach with no coaching experience. But Sam Cassell can't get a job. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think.